Hey guys, in this video, I will talk about the Tableau parameters. And as you can see, Tableau parameters helps the end users to do the selection and change the analysis based on how they are changing the parameter. It's like giving a drop down or a range list to in the hand of the user and uh, through which they can change the list box or selection filter and make the changes in the entire analysis accordingly. So, a couple of ways in which Tableau parameters can be helpful, I have just written it over here. First is the helpful in scenario planning where you, know, you have the different scenarios to plan. You can just change the values based on parameters and you get the new scenario. So you can do that sort of analysis. Second is what if analysis. So it's like if I'm changing this, then what will going to happen? So it's like what if analysis, which I have wrongly put it here. What is so what if and third is the a new way because uh, I think from Tableau 8, uh, you can connect to your uh, statistical packages or softwares like R and Python and uh, you can pass the parameters over there um, based on uh, how you want to tune the algorithm by changing their parameters. You can do that with the help of uh, parameters. So that's another innovative, innovative way through which you can use the Tableau parameters and uh, do the analysis or an efficient analysis. Alright, so in this series of videos, I will be covering some small topics um, as we will move on uh, into each video. And uh, first of all, we will go with some basic ideas and then we will see midway through or by the end of the series. I have some 10 or 12 videos planned for this. So you will see all of those things, uh, how, how I'm going it through and then... Uh, how it is providing you the good output. All right, so let's begin with the first example. So I'll just cancel it. So what I have for you is, uh, let's say you want to create a kind of a divide between what happens before a particular date and what happens after that, that kind of analysis and want to put some sort of a line to basically represent that and give the you know control to the end user where they can shift the line dynamically so how we can do that with the help of parameters let me just show it to you all right so what i will take is for our date i will just take order date and i'll keep it let's say day and uh, <clears throat> what i'll take is uh, sets over here and here i have a line chart and just to show it properly, what I'll do is I will change from here day to a proper day, which has the month, year and uh, particular day name, date. So what I get is a busy chart like this. So it's pretty busy. And let's say we want to create a divide on November 1. Maybe there is a particular date on which you have, let's say, launched a product or changed a policy or something like that. So this is a good visual representation if you have a line over here through which you can change it as well as uh, a flexibility in your hand where you can shift that line based on your need. So what I'll do is uh, I will going to create a parameter and uh, I will just say divide. Uh, you can change whatever number you want and you have a couple of data types over here um, that float integer string boolean date day and time so what I'll uh, take is basically date right over here and I will keep the format as it is and I will just change the 2018 to something which is let's say 2015 all right uh, 2015 once you have a parameter setup over here what I'll do is go into analytics pane over here and create a reference line and to do that what I'll do is I will put on table and day of order date so what it will going to do is it will gonna put a reference line like this so entire table that's fine but I will choose a value which is divide parameters so when I put a divide parameter which is 23rd of November 2015 it has come over here so 
keep it uh, constant minimum maximum I will leave it as it is for now and I will put a dashed line over here and uh, dash and maybe black so that it is clearly visible and uh, click OK all right so I have a line over here if I want to change it to let's say something to uh, maybe May 2016 um, 2nd May so my line is now over here on 2nd May 2016 if I want to go back and forth like this I can do it and my line will change accordingly what selection I made so this way you can very easily uh, make a movable line which will help your end user to to basically put some sort of a divide between your data based on the threshold of your interest and that would be a product launch date a policy change date or you entered into a new region whatever it may be and it will show you or give you an intuitive interface so that's about it and I will now meet you in the next video with a new topic